Before I understood the word college, my parents told me I was going. How many of you have had that same memory? How many of your parents told you the only thing in life that can never be taken away from you is your education? And how often have you heard that education is the key to success? I'm Jim Sermons, formerly an executive vice president of CBS and a 1937 graduate of St. Petersburg Junior College. Two achievements of which I am equally proud. I was very fortunate to have a long and successful career in the radio and television fields, and I give much of the credit for that to St. Petersburg College and to an exceptional professor who introduced me to radio. She gave me confidence and taught me to believe in myself. Her name was Augusta B. Center. I probably owe my career to her. Founded in 1927, St. Petersburg College has since grown and transitioned into a four-year institution with 63,000 students and more than 300 programs leading both to associate and baccalaureate degrees. Located on 10 learning sites throughout Pinellas County, SPC offers degrees in everything from banking and education to nursing and veterinary technology. Degrees that meet the high demand of today's technology-driven marketplace, especially in our local community. Approximately 85% of the degree-seeking students at SPC have full or part-time jobs to help offset the cost of education. Expenses like tuition, books, equipment, and lab fees. They often attend school while working and caring for families. More than not, they need financial assistance. Philanthropy takes many forms. But whether it's giving of one's time, talent, or treasure, it's always giving from the heart. Art is a passion that comes into play for many of our donors. Ultimately, the story you're about to see focuses on the birth of some very talented twin sisters, twin Steinway concert grand pianos, a gift made possible by the friends and students of St. Petersburg College. It's a gift of music, instruments of sound, resonating a melody of life. These are concert grand pianos, Steinways, purchased in the year 2000 through generous gifts donated by friends and students of St. Petersburg College. Today, these beautiful instruments are the centerpiece of a $2.2 million acoustically perfect music hall. It's the sole performing arts venue in the Bay Area with two concert grands. Steinway is a company where perfection and old world craftsmanship take on real meaning. Musicians from the college recently traveled to New York to carefully select from the finest pianos. The instruments were built from a factory yard where two and a half million dollars worth of stacked lumber were cured for months at a time. It's a place where only 12 pianos are finished for the world each day. With each Steinway produced, different woods are layered into a finished piece. It's wood that is planed and veneered, birch, Mahogany and walnut are demoisturized and measured, then carefully tested. The quality of sound is the result of precise shaping of spruce soundboards in finding the correct hardness in maple rims and in the precise angling of interior wood edges. In the end, the keyboards determine success of the craftsman's work in the magical sounds of a melody written hundreds of years ago. Our faculty and our students deserve the best. We can't always afford the best, but Steinway was definitely a target 
when it came to pianos. Our pianos were 30, 33 years old on average, and it was time to replace them. And uh, surveying the piano landscape, it was, there were, was really no reasonable choice other than Steinway if you want quality. Located at the St. Petersburg Gibbs campus, the Steinways were part of a remodeling project that would bring dramatic changes to one of the school's original buildings, a 1941 structure built by the WPA. Today, it continues as the George Lynch Auditorium in the Music Center, a facility used for the college's humanities and fine arts programs. Through private donations, the college also recently commissioned the building of a Heisler pipe organ. This, a 3,000-piece instrument that had to be disassembled and then shipped by boat from Germany, a month-long excursion. It was then meticulously reconstructed over many months. Today, it stands 22 feet wide. Its towers rise 18 feet into the air. The renowned concert organist, John Obitz, called it the finest such instrument on Florida's west coast. There are less than 30 Heisler pipe organs in the entire country. I love to play the organ, I love to hear the organ, and I think that this is uh, going to be a great boon, not only to the college, but also to the community. Together, they are instruments that create the melodies of life, of rhythm in time, the craftsmanship of hundreds and thousands of hours bring sweet music to the ear. Without gifts, the important part of education in the arts cannot be managed without extra help, extraordinary help. I think you'll agree that was a story that touched the heart from people whose hearts were touched by the vision of education and the passion to make it happen. Someone once said, first you learn, then you earn, then you return. You can help make a difference in your community by helping support college scholarships for deserving students, educational programs and learning facilities through the St. Petersburg College Foundation. I would like to introduce you to the Director of Plan Giving to explain how you can help. I hope you were touched by what you saw and heard from people who believe in the value of education and in giving back to this community. Hello, I'm Cindy Tully, Director of Plan Giving for the St. Petersburg College Foundation. There are so many opportunities to help students through scholarships or support for educational programs through the foundation. You may designate your dollars for a particular scholarship fund or program. You may even initiate your own scholarship compatible with your specific educational interests or create a lasting legacy through annual gifts or donations. No matter what your interests, we want to help you bring your dreams to fruition. Please contact me, Cindy Tully, for more specific information about becoming a part of the Foundation. I'd love to sit down and talk with you about your interests and the opportunities to help others achieve their dreams. It's about creating a legacy and memories that will last a lifetime. Thank you.